guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. You are a former actor, Today is Friday, June 9th, and it's currently 7.28 p.m., and I have seven here for you all, who you guys actually haven't saw in quite a bit. Well, I feel like it was quite a, quite a long time. I was watching a few of my older videos, and they're so, like... I don't know. I said um a lot. I used to smack my lips a lot and it's funny because I, I don't like when people do that. So it's kind of funny to see my old videos and I'm just like all over the place. And I was looking for something on my channel and then ended up watching some older videos and I noticed that. But I am having a very good Friday. My week for the most part has been well. I just hate having to wake up every morning to get ready for work but at least I work in the comfort of the house, so I don't have to leave anywhere. So I guess that's the only plus side about it. The only thing that is making my week, well, not my week, just my day. And it just happened about five minutes ago. So Apple, for some reason, charges me so much money. I pay for storage and I pay for music. Storage is $10. Music is $10. My bill is nowhere near $20. It's like $30. Like, they just charge me... <laughs> Okay, 30 is, is an exaggeration, but it's like 22, 25. Like they just randomly charge me, like charge my account with all of these payments and I'm only paying for music and I'm only paying for storage. And music is kind of, what am I paying for music for? So <laughs> that's another thing. I don't know why I'm paying for music, but I love music and I have to have it. But I just want, I just wanted to say that, is anyone else does anyone else have that problem? Like, Apple just randomly charges me so much money. I can understand if it was the $20, the 10 or the $9.99 from the storage and the $9.99 for the music. But no, it's always like $25, $23. Like, it'd be different numbers every month. And that's pretty funny. Enough about that. So I uploaded a video on Wednesday, actually. No, today. <laughs> I uploaded a video. I was like... When did I last upload the when did I upload the video? Because I remember I got some comments today. Yeah, I had uploaded a video today and the comments are very understanding and they get my frustration. So I, I was thinking about deleting it after like a couple of days, but I think I may just leave it up there. Um, the only reason why I was thinking about deleting it is because I sounded rude in it and I don't like to sound rude or to be mean so I was just really mad and upset so that's even well I felt like the video did need to be said and the things I said in there need to be said but I should have done it when it wasn't so fresh I should have just waited a few days but I did it the same day anyway or the next day so <laughs> yeah anyways I'm going to show you guys the babies that I have for sale in detail because I want to get them all sold by the end of this month, if not all of them, at least the three here. I have two babies that are not featured in this video, but if you do buy them, they will still get shipped out the same day, next day. My mom is going to ship them out, so don't worry. I had someone buy a baby for me back in November, and the baby wasn't with me, and it still got shipped out, I believe, the same day. If not, it was the next day. So don't worry, your items will or your babies will get shipped out. The two babies that I have for sale that won't be featured in this video since they're not here is uh, Scarlett and Roborn Claudia. Both of those babies were painted by me. They are budget babies. They are heavily boo-boo flawed babies and their price does reflect in it. I am charging $145 plus shipping for Scarlett and $195 for Claudia. I honestly just want to sell them at like $100 and get it over with. And watch someone probably message me like, yeah, I have $100 for you. Or someone was like, I know you say you probably charge $100, but can you do $50? I'm over exaggerating when I say I want to charge $100 just to sell them to sell them. That's just me talking. I'm not being serious, however. I'm very flexible. I offer payment plans. I offer that way. And if you're seriously interested, I can lower their price even more, even though their prices are already lowered. Just serious inquiries for me, please. Anyways, I have seven here, like I said, like four times. And 
the last time you guys saw him, he was in the matching onesies as Saint and Milano, but someone asked to see him without anything on, so I took it off, took the pictures, and they weren't interested anymore. Or they didn't even say that, they were just like, thanks. And then that was the end of that conversation, but at least they responded back after all of the pictures because I had someone ask for about a baby I had for sale. I asked for a lot of pictures after I told them the price and the details. So it wasn't like they didn't know the price and the details already. They didn't answer back after I sent all the pictures. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, this is Seven. He is Baby Nathan by Helen Connors. He's poured and molded by Tracy Harrington in a solid platinum silicone. I like to think of him as Equiflex 20 because he isn't firm or hard, but he isn't like super soft blend or marshmallow blend or super soft either. September, who is my Merle by Lillian Breva. She is softer than him, just to give you guys an idea. I don't really know how to give you guys an idea since you guys can't touch him through the screen or anything like that, but he isn't hard or anything at all. He is, however dirty and i hate to even say that <laughs> and he does need a bath i didn't give him a bath when i got him like i usually do all my babies i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about him like the history well he's 20 inches and six pounds but the history because i just got him it's not like he's an old baby or anything he just got painted last year so i found his kit in like february or no i think january but I bought him in February because there were so many complications on trying to buy him. And it took like two, three weeks for me to even purchase him because of the complications that the seller was having. So I got his blank scope. Then I found an artist for him shortly after that. And I sent him off in April. He got worked on in April and finished in May, shipped in May. I received him in May. However, I did not open him until August. Around December, I think I listed him up for sale. I really wanted to list him up for sale in like October, November, but I decided to try to bond with him at least. But then I just realized I couldn't really bond with him, so I decided to list him up for sale in December, and he's been up for sale since then. The videos on my channel are the videos that I have with him, and the, that's how many times I changed him and picked him up. I haven't changed him off camera, and I haven't done much with him off camera except for getting safety photos or sending videos out to people that said they were interested. So, this is him, and he does have flaws. He's not a perfect baby. I got asked a few times if his lips were a boo-boo. And this is just how his scope is made. So his lips are not a boo-boo. He doesn't have anything fancy in his mouth. There's no gums or a tongue in there. But it is a pretty big mouth where you can put a decent sized pacifier in there. And he can also put his fingers in his mouth as well. These are flaws that I guess... I made because he didn't come with them but just the peeling on the sides of his cheeks I don't know how they got there but he didn't have them before but it's small right here and right here and I showed you guys this before and as you guys can see they're the same size as when I first noticed them and brought them on to you guys so he isn't a perfect baby and I've been thinking about lowering his price as well especially if someone can pay in full of course it is going to be less than what I paid but I am fine with that at this point i just want him sold by this month he has eyebrows and his hair looks crazy but if you watch my other videos you guys know he has a decent rooted hair he has a lot of hair which i like because there's no way for you to sew the silicone's hair so i like when they get when the artists give them a lot of hair because I don't want my babies to start balding because they don't have enough hair to begin with and it just starts to fall out but this is his hair it's just black and wavy and I just use water on it and I style it with a comb and a brush so this is him he is one piece he's not on 
a ball jointed neck or anything like that. He does wrinkle and stuff like that when you fold him, but he isn't easily wrinkled as maybe September or somebody else. Because like I said, he's solid platinum silicone, but he is soft and squishy as you guys he's bendable i think he's a great starter full body silicone uh, this is under his arms and this is another flaw under his arms i don't really lift his arms up so i didn't i never noticed it until i was getting like safety photos here is his back and all silicones are not perfect they all have their different flaws and things like that he just has many flaws here is his legs bottom of his feet let me see if i can focus you guys i love his feet they're my favorite bottom of his feet super flexible and bendable i don't want to keep doing that though uh his little bum bum he's nicely sculpted he's a super long baby but he is petite so even though he is 20 inches and 6 pounds, he isn't heavy or anything like that. I know a lot of people sell their silicones because they're too heavy for them. I see it all the time. They always say that they're selling because the baby's just too heavy. But he isn't heavy at all. He's super light. And he is a petite baby. And so yeah, this is him. He doesn't have any armatures or anything like that. He's just a plain full body and we're gonna put his onesie back on him and it is lined in white so it's not gonna stain him or anything this is the onesie that i put on him in his last video and i just never put it back on him from the photos that i sent but if any of you guys are interested you guys may message me on instagram my instagram is my underscore reborns or you guys can Email me. My email is mayareborns.yt at gmail.com. I have plenty of references. I've sold a lot of babies, <laughs> almost my whole entire collection. So I've sold many babies before all around the United States. I actually just shipped out a baby. I forgot I did. I shipped out a baby on Wednesday. And surprisingly, that box was not that expensive i i think we might start not having to pay a lot <laughs> but i was expecting the box to be 50 dollars because it was 55 coming to me so i just was expecting it to be 50 to ship but it wasn't i was like oh my god they were like is this okay i was like yeah i mean if it wasn't what could i possibly do about it but they were super nice they even gave me a lollipop it was a jolly rancher <laughs> a jolly rancher sucker they gave me Okay, so this is him. I named him Seven. I can't even tell you his middle name because I don't remember. But I named him Seven. And again, he is the Nathan sculpt by Helen Connors. And he's painted in a biracial or African-American skin tone. He can fit a full pacifier in his mouth. And that's him. He's for sale. Okay, so the next thing I have for sale is my blank sold out limited edition zoe kit by natalie blick you guys haven't saw this kit since i opened it on camera for you guys and i mean why would you it's a blank kit <laughs> but i realized i never showed you guys the kit again i only told you guys that it was left for sale so just in case you guys want to see the kit let me move seven out of the way there's the kit now i only handled okay i got the kit and then I did the video and then shortly after I sold the kit and I did a safety photo I think two three times I did a safety photo three times one was most recently and then the other two were over the span of me trying to sell the kit so I touched the kit four times and now this would be the fifth time on me touching the kit and I only touched the kit to show that I have it and for a safety photo and video. But this is the kit. Straight from Irresistibles. Wait, where's my paper? From Irresistibles. Directly from Irresistibles. 
Uh, so yeah, straight from Irresistibles. And voice for order. And guys, ignore my finger. My nails are pretty long and one false move and you're done for. My fingernail bent all the way back. And, okay, that's let me not put let me not put that in the camera, but my fingernail had bent all the way back and it hurt so much. Had bent all the way back your stain and started bleeding and now it's bruised or whatever, so ignore that. But <laughs> My hands are clean. They're washed. This is Zoe by Natalie Wick. 683 out of 999. I see everyone selling their Zoe kits, which is probably why this little one is still available. Because of that, everyone is selling theirs. So I think this would be... Oh, I never took it out of the package before. I think... Zoe will make a perfect sibling to a lot of kids, not even just Natalie Blick, like not even just Pippa by Natalie Blick, but I think Zoe will make a good um, sibling to like Maddie by Bonnie Brown, or no, I was going to say Lottie, but not really Lottie, unless you like scoped some little teeth in there, but I feel like this baby would be a good sibling to a lot of scopes that aren't necessarily bonnie brown and i thought i could see this in my collection but i just haven't i haven't saw any that i like was like oh my gosh i have to get or any good inspirations not from just this scope but inspirations in general from like real kids or other babies this size so i was just like well i'll just go ahead and sell her but this is the stamp nb so we made in germany if anyone has a Zoe and you don't know if it's authentic or not. Here's this for you guys to look at. And yeah, if you scope little teeth in there, I think that'd be cute. Does not come with any eyes or anything like that. She got her straight legs in there and her arms, which are all in plastic. For some reason, they didn't put plastic or wrap her head. I don't know why, but yeah. She does come with her body. This is her body. Full limbs. And they currently have strings on there. But you can always switch them out for zip ties. This is just the body that Irresistible sent with the kit. And this, I believe, is a 25, if not a 26 inch body. So that is the blank kit that I have for sale. Again, this is Zoe by Natalie Blick. And I had this baby, I think this baby started shipping the summer of 2022, I think, I want to say June, May, May, June, July, something like that. But I didn't get this kit until September, or was it August? One of those. You guys can just check my videos from around there. It was either August or September. So anyways, that is zoe and i will send the little paper the thank you for your order paper with because people be wanting everything nowadays as soon as you start selling a sold out limited edition kit they want everything so i'll send that with to let everyone know that it's a legitimate kit just in case that box is loud just in case someone loses the coa or something and i guess they just happen to keep that paper <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really say the kit on there. I mean, if you want the receipt, man, I guess I'll give it to you if you really want it. So that's why you guys have to keep up with your COAs. Okay, so last baby that I have, I'm going to show you guys. And again, I do have Roborn Claudia painted and rooted by me. And I have Reborn Scarlet painted and rooted by me. And by the way, guys, I was supposed to do my giveaway video. No one reminded me. I just kind of happened to remind myself. Once I got to 2,250, I was supposed to I did like the video where you guys could enter and the rules and stuff like that. And I completely forgot up until a couple of days ago. And then I realized that I was past that and I didn't do it. So maybe that'll come out sometime soon if I remember. I say all that to say if Scarlet isn't sold by the time I draw the winner, she'll just be the giveaway baby. Which I was hoping I was able to paint a... 
completely different baby for the giveaway maybe because i have a few kits a few blank kits that i could do instead but if she's still available i'll just give her away and then probably sell the blank kits or something that i have anyways the last baby is margo by cassie praise this baby does have her coa i'm saying her but i had her as a boy i got this baby as a custom this baby arrived in April and I listed the baby up for sale shortly after just because I knew I wasn't going to bond with this baby. And plus I had too many babies anyway, still do. So I'm just trying to downsize my collection. This baby does have some flaws. So I am asking $100 less than what I paid for the baby. And of course I do take offers. I take offers on all my babies, especially if the baby can get paid for in full. But look at the hair on this baby. Very pretty curly hair. It's blonde, but it has like hints of like darker blonde and brown pieces. I love, love, love the hair. So this baby does have flaws, but this baby is a light biracial skin tone and color. Uh, Full arms, full leg, big old chunky baby wears these are too small and they're like a size six months so this baby wears like nine months 12 months because this is a very chunky baby i believe this baby is on a 25 inch 26 inch body but yeah like i said this baby does have a lot of flaws but i'm gonna send this baby as a boy because i don't have any girl clothes that would fit this baby unless they really want the baby as a girl i could probably send this onesie and see if there's anything else in there that this baby would fit but yeah the baby won't come home with like a whole bunch of stuff maybe like an outfit or two of my choosing but yeah i do have this baby for so you guys can see her face or his face i only have this baby in a girl outfit because i know a lot of people like the girl babies more so i had found a girl outfit for this baby and decided to put it on her but again, I did have this baby as a boy. These are glass eyes. They are like a, I would say hazel, but they're more of a gray color. Super pretty glass eyes. And again, like I said, this baby does have flaws and boo-boos. But I think this is a pretty baby. Very chunky. Not weighted heavy. I think the baby could honestly be weighted. Um, a little bit more heavy but i kind of like how she's weighted because again she's not heavy like she could be and so it's good when you're carrying her around but after a while you do get tired <laughs> with carrying her around uh again this is margo by cassie bryce i do have the coa and the mouth is slightly open so you could fit a passy in there and it's funny because I was saying how this baby skin tone was perfect. It was the perfect skin tone that I wanted because it matched my skin tone. But I'm telling you guys, my skin tone changes all the time. And this baby doesn't even look anywhere near my skin tone at all. But I promise this was the perfect skin tone because I was once this skin tone. I don't know what happened, but we were like almost matching. Now we're not, but... <laughs> This is a pretty, pretty caramel skin tone. And she looks so cute right here. I'm still picturing boy for her though. I changed this baby three times. One into a boy Easter outfit, which the baby will go home with. Uh, two into a romper, which the baby will go home with. And then three into this girl outfit. I haven't handled this baby much at all. And so, yeah. Also... I get asked this a lot, but no trades for any of the babies. The only babies that I would possibly consider a trade with is Margo. But I really don't want to do any trades. I've never done a trade, but I don't, I really don't want to do one. <laughs> Again, this is a close up of her hair. Really nice. I have it in a bun right now before I had it in a ponytail. So you can do buns and ponytails on this baby. I asked for a little scratch. This right there looks really realistic. Has a little tooth right there. And let me show you guys. Because I don't have her seal right here right now. It's in the closet. But back of the neck. 
it says Margot by C. Brace. And yeah, so this is the back of the hair as well. And if you're interested, I can send you close ups of the flaw and everything like that. Or flaws, I should say, with us. <laughs> but yeah, very cute baby, super chunky. And very good price, I think. I think all the babies are really good prices. So, this is Margot by Cassie Brace. Pretty baby. And she does have a birthmark on her forehead, which I asked for, and I love it. The artist did an amazing job on it, and on her. And then we have Seven, who is, again, Nathan by Alan Connors. And he needs a bath because he has so much lint and stuff on him, but that's the nature of silicone. And I try my best to keep lint off of them. He's not attracted to hair, which is a good thing, but lint does like to get on him. But yeah, so this is Seven, who is Baby Nathan by Helen Connors. He is an anatomically correct boy, but if you want to put girl clothes on him and make him a girl, you could absolutely do that. Um, then I have the blank Zoe kit that's sold out. Limited edition of $999 worldwide by Natalie Blick for sale. And then last but not least, I have Margot by Cassie Brace for sale. That is, And all of these babies are brand new. I got this baby as a private order last year. I got Margo as a custom. My kit is brand new straight from the dealer Irresistibles. And Reborn Claudia and Reborn Scarlet are brand new as I am their artist. So all the babies are practically brand new. I'm the first and only owner and mom for this baby. I'm the first and only owner mom for Margo. The first person that had... I'm the only person that had the blank kit. And then I'm the only person that had the two reborns that I made. So... If that means anything to you guys, I know for some odd reason, people like their babies to be like straight from the source. Me, um, as long as the baby's in good condition, I'll be okay. Anyways, this video is super long, which I'm going to have to edit and cut down, and I don't want to do it, but I do want to upload a video tomorrow, so I don't have a choice. <laughs> If you guys haven't watched any of my other videos, go ahead and watch them. I do know, again, like I said, my last video, it's the Minding Your Business or Minding Your Own Business 101. I want to teach a class. If you guys need that class or know someone that needs that class, let them know I'm going to be teaching a Minding Your Own Business class. And I'm going to go over all the basics of minding your own business. And so if they're interested, tell them to hit me up. <laughs> but... Yes, uh, that video I know it's long, so I don't blame you guys for not watching it. Like, I, I don't care. But my other videos are pretty good, kind of, a little bit. So if you guys haven't watched them, go ahead and watch them. I still have to do a day in the life with Solana, and I've been dreading it, but I might as well just do it and get it over with. I'm only dreading it because I know it's going to take a while to record. I know it's going to take a while to edit. And then if it flops like the rest of them, it's going to be like, what was the point? I don't know if you guys watch The Office or if you guys know this. I love The Office. I think you guys do. I said it and I think I showed you guys. No. Yeah. Did I show you guys my Funko Pops? I feel like I showed you guys my Funko Pops in a video. If not, I talked about, yeah, talk past tense. I don't talk about it that much, but I talked about The Office all the time in my videos. But in the episode, Creed is a character named Creed and he's just like always so lost. Like he doesn't even know what he does there. <laughs> and one time he was like, he said, if this has not all been about scuba diving, then what has this been about? Or it was something along those lines before I could get it perfectly. If this was not about scuba diving, what has this all been about? That's what I'm saying. What has this all been about? If no one's going to watch the video, what has this all been about? <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. I do follow back Reborn accounts. And if you do follow me on your personal, sometimes I even follow back on personal accounts as well. Sometimes. <laughs> if you guys want to sign up for my email subscriptions, you guys can go ahead and do so. It is 100% free. It's just me rambling. Sometimes I give exclusive videos. I give updates. And again, it's just me rambling. So if you don't like reading, don't sign up for it. But <laughs> that's pretty much all it is. Again, it's 100% free. 
everything that i stated is linked below in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out and there's a direct link to everything that i mentioned if you guys like this video get a big thumbs up comment down below if you guys want to comment as a cleaning video request and if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you doing hit that subscribe button also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video we will all talk to you guys later let me show you margo one more time she can say bye to bye and thank you guys so much for watching we hope you guys have a lovely weekend and we are wishing everyone a blessed safe saturday and if you're watching this on sunday or any other day we love you guys bye